Welcome to the Texas Truck Channel. I'm Craig and we're at the Houston Auto Show. It's a little noisy in here. I apologize for any background noise, but we got something special again. We saw us at the State Fair and it's here again. Look, we can't just pass an opportunity to see this thing because we can't wait till this comes out. And that is the all new Ford Ranger. This is the all new Ford Ranger that we're getting soon. And I think it's a great redesign. You got all the family resemblance in the grill and it's just, a complete redesign all the way through. A lot of times you'll hear a refresh or it's all new, quote unquote. This actually is. This is not a 10 year old vehicle that was previously sold in Australia that now the states are getting. No, we're getting this at the exact same time as the rest of the global market. And that is so neat and so good for the US consu consumers. Let's just start at the front. Traditional Ford uh, badging and styling. It looks great. Love the Ford logo prominently in, in there. This is the Lariat trim, so you get a little more chrome. Um, some maybe would say the more mature spec. Um, you get a kind of a fake faux bumper guard there, or sorry, skid plate. But underneath here, you do get an actual metal one. You hear that? And that's real metal. And look, Ford knows how to do, do trucks. You get a tow hook. And it's chrome for the mature crowd, but it's there. You actually get it. That's really nice. Let's move on down to what the meets, because the meets matter. 255, 65, 18. This is a good size, for, especially for this trim and what you're trying to do. Of course, it's a chrome wheel because it's the Lariat trim. Um, again, the mature spec, but well, a little youth in there with the raised white letters like that. That looks really good. Moving on down, you get the Ford kind of inlet there or whatever that's called. Um, correct me in the comments, whatever you call that thing, but that looks good. This says Lariat, so you know what you're driving. You gotta know what you're driving. If you don't know what you're driving, what are you doing? You get the chrome mirror caps because it's the Lariat trim, chrome door handles. And look, Ford knows how to do this. You get the little push button, you can just put your hand in there and it unlocks. That's really nice to see. Side profile you can kind of see here, looks really good. It's kind of good proportions. It hasn't grown crazy. And one of the best things is we've got back here, I'm gonna show you that right there. That's really neat. Let's go look at that. What we have here is an FX4 sticker. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the sidestep. Love this integrated sidestep so you can get in and really easily access everything. That's really cool. Love that that's in there. Really neat. Get a nice backup camera. <clears throat> Plenty of towing, seven way and four way. Ford's got you hooked up. You get a dampened tailgate. Love that it's dampened. Ford knows what they're doing there. I'm not sure about that red, if that'll stay, but that's pretty neat. But there's how it's dampened and you get the spray in bed liner from the factory. Always very nice. Get some uh, hookups here. Doesn't say how much power, but you do get some outlets with this, say 400 watts and 180 watts, 12 volts. So you could do some light charging, nothing serious. Let's get into the interior and check that out. Moving on to the interior. Let's check out the uh, back seat. Um, this is, this. they haven't told me it's a pre-production model. This is a hard touch here, soft touch there. And they got the door handle just like they do in an F-150, a little grab and a little pull. Also means you can put your phone there. Love that. Here's what I mean by that. You can set your phone right there and it just stays. That is great. And an easy integrated way to do the door handle. It's not a separate pull, easy way to do that. Um, get bottle holders down here. Of course, power windows. And then back here, here's your room. You actually get a decent amount of room back here. It's not terrible. Um, I like that you can actually fold this up. It's, oh, it's 60-40, but, oh, hang on. It's not 60-40. Well, oh, here we go, here's the handle. Pull the handle, and you do get some storage down here. It's hard to tell in this lighting. There's a little bit of a cubby hole under the passenger side and the driver's side. It's not split, wish it was split, but you know, there is that. Let's get in here and see what kind of room we have. We have a decent amount of room. In fact, we get a lot of room because this does not have a sunroof like so many do. And so I've got gobs of room in here. Brian would actually probably work in here. No rear AC, that's very fascinating, hard to tell in this lighting. No rear AC, but you do get an armrest. So I find it interesting how some of these manufacturers do it. You, you, you get an armrest or you get the AC or not both. It's, it's interesting how they're doing that. This one, you actually get an armrest, that's really nice. Kind of sad you don't get the rear AC. Legroom wise, I get, I've got plenty of legroom. I'm not sure who was sitting in front of me, but it looks like they got the seat back a little bit. So that's encouraging there that there's decent room. I'll tell you this, there's definitely more room than a Tacoma here in this Ranger, that's for sure. Let's move on to the driver's side. Moving on to the front row, let's see what we've got in the driver's uh, quarters and uh, pretty roomy, but before we get to that, let's check out the door. Nice padded armrest, that is very nice when you're driving, you actually get some padding for your elbow and you get the tra traditional Ford three memory seat setting in the Lariat with a nice pull, hill, pull handle here where you can set your phone and nice bottle holder. Looks like these are all auto up, auto down. That's really nice to see, at least in this Lariat trim. And moving on into the interior, 
Let's check out this interior. You get plenty of room in here. This is actually really nice. This seat's a little high. Auto show it's turned off, so I can't really lower it. But it's an all new redesigned interior and pretty good materials, especially on this Lariat. Um, you know it's new if it's got a new steering wheel. This is a new steering wheel, it's all new. Nice center stack infotainment. Uh, interesting that they went portrait instead of landscape. Let us know if you prefer a landscape or portrait in the comments. That's an interesting move there. Vents seem to be easy to grasp. You do get hard touch HVAC controls. That's really nice to see that they kept that. A lot of manufacturers are getting rid of that. Thank you Ford for keeping that. Although there's not a whole lot of other buttons in here. You do get a few more buttons. Let's move on down here. Shifter is down here. That's an interesting way to do that. Um, could, have been, could have been a column, could have been just a button, but that seems like an easy way to do that. Phone charging, little phone slot here, so you can set your phone there, or you can set it sideways, or you can put it in the charger. And then of course you get cup holders down here. Nice big cup holders. It looks like they'll accommodate a lot of cups. Electronic parking brake, miss the old, uh, old manual one, but that's okay. We do get some more buttons down here. This is uh, parking sensors, trash control, auto start, stop, on, off, and then all your drive modes, which you would also access this way. So that's interesting to see how they've done that. This one has four high, two high, and four low. Interesting that there's not four auto. I believe you can get the four auto in the Raptor, but apparently you can't in the other trims, and so that's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. Now, last but not least, let's check out the powertrain and see what's powering the sucker. All right, getting underneath the hood here, we have the 2.3 liter EcoBoost inline four cylinder, which makes plenty of power. Put the power numbers here. Thank you. There's the power numbers. And Look, this is a great power plant. It's tried and true. It actually has been tested and it's been out for a long time. It's one of those deals where they've kind of refined it over time and there's really not any issues anymore. It just rips and makes the power. It makes kind of some fun turbo noises, at least the previous Ranger did. I'm sure this one will too. It's the same powertrain. And probably the best part is paired to the 10R60 10 speed automatic transmission, which, well, basically Ford has figured out now. It's dialed now. It's nice that you have those um different the, all the modes and what i mean by that is ford really they mean they mean business with their modes if it's off-road or if it's in sport mode it hammers down you got a lot of gears to play with so you can actually hustle this bad boy along enough of me blabbering though thanks for watching let us know what you think what trim are you most excited for we're excited for the raptor of course and then of course the pricing's pretty good on these things so this is not necessarily the spec maybe i'd get but what spec would you get be sure to like and subscribe thanks for watching